Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Naja, the Third Lotus Prince. Born to innocence, forced to fight, destined to be a hero, the child god, Naja, defends those that cannot defend themselves, especially against tyrant gods. For three and a half years, Naja's mother carried him in her womb. During this time, the dragon gods, led by Ao Kuang, terrorized the people, sending floods and storms and demanding not just food, but child sacrifices to feast upon as well. Into this world was Naja born, a full-grown boy with laughter in his eyes, trained by the immortal sage Taiyi Zhenjin, who gave him the powerful universe ring an armillary sash. Youthful and carefree, Naja was also headstrong, often arguing with his father what was right and wrong. But youth does not last forever, and Naja's life changed, defending two friends against a captain of Ao Kuang's army. Insulted, the dragon god commanded his third son, Ao Bing, to defeat the boy. But in the end, Naja slew his opponent. Furious with grief, Ao Kuang demanded Naja's father make reparations for the offense committed by his son, or he would send floods and storms to ravage the land. Naja humbly sacrificed himself to appease the dragon god, but evil Ao Kuang sent storms anyway. Tai Yi Zhenzhen worked his wisdom, and from the petals of a lotus plant, Naja was reborn. The immortal sage gave him new weapons, the fire-tipped spear and wind-fire wheels, weapons to challenge even the dragon god and defeat him once and for all. Time has passed since Ao Kuang's ruin, but the winds of war are rising and new gods of tyranny challenge the safety of the defenseless. Once again, Naja will set aside his youth and stand against the tide, for not even death can stop him. In Smite, Naja purifies the battlefield as a physical Malay assassin. Naja's passive is called Child of the Lotus. When Naja dies, his indomitable spirit is reborn at his location, healing nearby allies every second for a portion of his maximum health and increasing their protections. Naja's basic attacks also utilize a four-swing chain, with the final attack in the chain dealing damage to all enemies in front of him. His first ability is called Universe Ring Toss. Naja throws the Universe Ring in a line. If it hits an enemy, it will bounce to other nearby enemies. Each enemy hit takes physical damage, is slowed, and receives a stacking physical protection debuff. His second ability is called Flaming Spear. Naja activates his Flaming Spear, increasing his attack speed and critical hit chance for a duration. Naja's third ability is called Armillary Sash. Naja throws out his Armillary Sash. If it hits an enemy god, the target is stunned as Naja yanks himself toward them. On arrival, Naja delivers a powerful smash, hitting all nearby targets for physical damage. Naja's ultimate is called Wind Fire Wheels. Naja dashes forward. If he hits an enemy god, he knocks them toward the heavens, unleashing a combo, then smashing back down, delivering a final blow that damages and knocks back his target and all nearby enemies. In this fight, Naja and Ra are butting heads with an enemy, Kali and Emir. Naja uses Blink to close the distance followed by his armillary sash to stun Emir, setting up Ra for his celestial beam. A few quick strikes end Emir as his frost wall goes up. Here, Naja comes into the middle lane behind the enemy team, missing his universe ring. A swift windfire wheels connects, lifting Freya into an aerial assault and slamming her back down for the kill. Our Millery Sash closes the distance to trapped Bakasura, leading to a double kill.
In this scenario, Naja notices an enemy Bakasura attempting to take the Gold Fury. Using his Windfire wheels, he quickly takes him out of the fight, resetting the Gold Fury. Upon landing, Naja and an allied Amir help secure the kill, allowing them to steal the Gold Fury for their team. As the third Lotus Prince, Naja initially relies on the multi-hit of his universe Ring Toss. After that, Flaming Spear comes in handy for delivering extra damage. Armillary Sash helps Naja close the gap between himself and a target while delivering a stun upon arrival. Then, the priorities shift to Windfire Wheels, Armillary Sash, Flaming Spear, Universe Ring Toss. Make sure to get your checkup with the Naughty Nurse Neath skin. The Thor Blood Eagle skin is available for purchase or as a special free gift to those tribes, Ascend players who acquired the Game of the Year edition or reached level 50. Also in this update is single click live streaming through Twitch TV. From the Smite TV tab, select Broadcast Now and stream your gameplay real-time without requiring extra equipment. Twitch chat is integrated so you can interact with viewers without having to leave the Smite client. After streaming your first 250 minutes, you'll earn 250 favor. And if you feel inspired to stream 5,000 minutes, you'll earn the exclusive Twitch Emir skin. Kakademon is here ahead of schedule. Players who have reached level 30 get this skin for free. If you aren't there yet, start that grind because the offer is available until official release of Smite. Finally, we recently released the new Assault Map for fans of the all-random, all-mid-game mode. Thanks for watching the Smite God Reveal for Naja, the Third Lotus Prince.